Yo, what's going on? In this video, we're basically going to be talking about audio levels, how to improve your audio on your videos, how to improve your content, how you should be setting up your audio, what's more important, your voice, the music, the gameplay. It's all going to be discussed here as well as how to create better videos. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long Yo, what's going on? If you want my personal help to mentor you through growing your YouTube gaming channel and turning it into a business, then this is for you. Go to growonyoutube.com forward slash membership to find out more information about the Grow On YouTube membership program. You'll get access to me. You'll get access to, you know, me answering your questions. I'll be in the membership group and you'll get access to a community of like-minded YouTubers who are just as dedicated as you are so you can find people to collab and all that sort of great stuff there's also a bunch of other features but i don't want to you know give you three minutes of pitch over here if you want to know more about it go to grow on youtube.com forward slash membership serious people only we're limiting it to only 10 people right about now until we fully launch and at that point the price will raise so if you want to get in here get in here ASAP, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash membership. I'll see you guys in the group. Peace out. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter from growonyoutube.com, teaching you how to be better. And in this video, we're going to be doing a review of a video from one of the members from the Grow on YouTube membership that is Skeletorus. And this video is going to be PUBG dual teaming. PUBG is best when playing PUBG with friends. So this seems to be a let's play. Skeletorus did ask me to review the audio as I did give him some audio pointers before. I think you also left a comment saying you thought I was going to look through your channel. I do not do that. I do video reviews. That's the main thing. I only did your channel because you didn't have a video to review, but I will probably look through your channel in a few months and see how you've progressed along. I want to do that with Game of Gramps as well, but that is not a weekly thing. I do not do weekly channel reviews. Please do not expect that. I do these weekly video reviews for you guys. A channel review will take far too long, but there is a five minute limit on my video reviews and you've got a seven minute video. So we're going to stop at five minutes, um, but let's get into it. Actually, let's see if there's anything you can do with the SEO, you seem like you're, you're getting better at SEO. Definitely, I don't think this was the last time. Yeah, you're really doing this PUBG duo challenge, PUBG, bear PUBG in there. I don't think you actually, are you actually ranking for anything? You're ranking for PUBG duo teaming, which is not bad. That's pretty good. If you're ranking for this, then maybe go for it. It doesn't seem like the search volume is very high, so it might not be worth it. Fair enough. Let's get into the video. I'll give you a little like and let's see what's going on here. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've uploaded any PUBG gameplay, so I've dug around my vault of footage and pulled out this gem for you. Enjoy. Hey there everyone, Skeletorus here and welcome back to the channel where being a pro is not what it's all about. If you want to have a laugh while watching some fun gameplay, then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell. Today I have a duo game for you guys where I team up with my good- Honestly, I don't know what, what specific audio tips you expect me to give you. You need to get a better mic. Like, that's what you need to do right about now. You need to get a better mic. Your mouth needs to be not on the mic because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like your mouth is on the mic. So we're getting all the pops and all that sort of stuff and we're getting, it just doesn't sound nice. You need to be further away. You need to have a pop filter. Um, hopefully you've got a foam thing or something like that. That just makes the quality sound better and record in a place with less echo and you'll just have better audio. I don't know. Like I could do an audio tutorial and tutorials on audio engineering and stuff like that, but I can't really do that over the course of watching your video, but you just basically need more, more information in audio engineering and to just get a better mic and don't be on your mic like this because that doesn't sound good. Good friend, Minibamp. It was one of our better games, so stick around to see if we get that tasty chicken dinner. And let me know in the comments below where you and your buddies like to drop. That's enough of that, let's get to it. So grab the... Wow, I'm tired. I, I was speaking 
much to you. He's ready to move out. Okay, the the audio of the other guy that's talking way too low. You need to turn the music down and pump his audio up because I can hardly hear what's going on there. Uh, yeah. And your audio as well, too low. How do you how do you get these shots? Are you able to, after a match of PUBG, can you just look through where everyone was? Is that a possibility? I, I don't know where this is coming, but this this is not relevant to your video review. This is just something I'm interested in about PUBG. But helping me learn more about PUBG will help me help you, to be honest. Okay, you need to realize that the music in these Let's Plays needs to be very much a tertiary character, not even a secondary character. It needs to be a tertiary character. That means in the in the hierarchy of characters, first up is your voice, your personality. Second up is the game, the gameplay, all the sounds around the game. And then third should be the actual music in the background. It should be so low that you don't notice it, but you'd notice it if it was gone. Like that is where you wanna to get to. It's way too loud right about now. It's, it's taking too much attention away from the action to like drawing my ears to the actual music. And then it's also drowning out your voices. That is just a very bad combination. Like the, the pop-up subscribe and the pop-up card, good stuff. You've done it in two minutes. I'm hoping two minutes is your general watch time drop off when people drop off, as that will be a good place to put those those little pop-ups like that. Okay, when you're recording these videos, like you can talk into whatever mic you're using for, you know, whoever you're playing to hear you, but you need to be recording your audio separately. You need to be also recording your audio, maybe to, I think you use Audacity, record it to Audacity or something like that. So you have your mic audio and you can scale it up and you can hear it and you can use a better mic. Like you can get by with the mic that you're using, but you're just gonna be outshadowed by anyone who took the time to just purchase a Blue Yeti because it just sounds way better. And you need to, the music should not be drawing out your voice. You need to be listening to your videos back before you put it out. You should be hearing whether you can hear your voice clearly, super clearly, super clearly. Like not, okay, I can just about hear it or it's good enough, I can hear it. No, it needs to be super clear. And it's, it's the most important thing. Like you need to be able to hear your voice. And if, there, if there's any thoughts that you might not be able to hear your voice here or you might not be able to hear your voice there, you need to lower the rest of the accompanying sound. It needs to be done. All right, we've hit five minutes, and uh, but I I got I gotta be real with you, innit? I gotta be real with you. This video was incredibly boring, um, because you didn't give me a story from the outset and let me know what you was trying to do, and you, you're not commentating, letting me know what you're trying to do. You're you're just commentating, talking to your buddy, which I understand, you know, if you're playing a game with your buddy, it's easy to just commentate and talk to him. But you need to remember that if you're making Let's Play videos for the sake of entertaining people, then you need to be focusing on entertaining people. Talking to your buddy needs to be a secondary thing. That's why I, when I do Let's Plays these days, I just, I do solo rants because I know when you talk to other people and when you have other people who aren't trying to do the same thing as you, they're not trying to make let's plays or just trying to play the game they're not going to be adding you know that much to it and there may be some really really boring times um 
I think you need to you need to focus on the story of what what you're trying to accomplish and let the viewer know, like let the viewer in on what you're trying to accomplish as well. Like, oh, okay, we need to take out these two guys, otherwise they're gonna kill us and we won't get to blah blah blah. We're gonna make our way to hair, all this sort of stuff. Right about now, it's just a bunch of clips. I have no idea where you're going. I think you said you was gonna go Pachinki or something, but I'm not 100 percent sure on what the places in the game are. So you know, you have to. Uh, that might be my ignorance but i have no idea where you're going uh i i have no idea why you're engaging in fights with these guys if it's necessary or if you're just killing them for the sake of killing them because you want to get some frags i have no idea what's going on and then also your your overhead shots shots and and scenery shots really take me out of the action i understand your your desire to do that because it makes it more cinematic and you can cover the area more and i do like that you're able to do that and i do think that should come into play later on but i don't think the mix of them work right now because as a viewer i'm coming into this from your your viewpoint and whatnot and then when you show me everything that's going on the tension is just killed it's killed completely because i know where everyone is i know where they're shooting you from i know how many people there are i know everything and i'm not in the same tense situation that you're in the whole point of let's play videos of PUBG, I, I would assume is to bring people into that tension that you feel as you play the game or have people share the experience with you and if you're giving me all this extra information you're not helping me share the experience because i've got no fear whatsoever and and I've got no uncertainty, which I believe is very, very important. So I'll take away all that so that you can draw people into the story of you don't know where these people are shooting from and you're, you need to find them. You're like, where are these guys? I have no idea. If we don't find them, we're going to die. And then me as a viewer, I'm more invested because I'm like, okay, where are these guys? Let me see if I can see where they are. Let me see if he finds them or if I can find them before he does. I hope he does. Let's see what happens. It's a much more interesting battle then than you just, you know, shooting at some guys and then you showing me footage of it and showing me everything what's that's going on at the same time because it just it gets rid of that that emotional factor which is really really necessary in hub content which is what this is but you said you're going to focus on tip videos and whatnot which will help you just get better at making videos and you will also get get traffic into your channel by doing that so you get more feedback on what what you're doing good and what you're doing wrong and all that sort of stuff and i'll obviously continue to provide you feedback but yeah yeah the audio levels i already talked about that those are very very important you need to sort those out and pretty much is my phone going off no um, pretty much you just need to you need to tell a better story you need to tell a better story and i just said that in the the game of gramps video review but guys we really need to invest in learning about filmmaking and storytelling and that sort of stuff i may have some of that content in my youtube channel soonish but it ain't coming anytime soon you're gonna need to go out there and do the research so that you can make a better cohesive story if what you want to do is create let's plays because in a let's play you need to create a story and you need to bring people in to give them a reason why they're watching this as well as just share your personality which there was nothing there was none of that here you wasn't sharing your personality at all it was just gameplay like that's it was just gameplay and that's really really missing the mark i hope this video helped you out <laughs> i hope it didn't go too harsh but I, I need to give you the truth to help you out and help you improve your videos so I hope it helped you out. If you've got any questions or comments or any other videos you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video review. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment. Or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. 
In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.